Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, we are going to be doing our fall update on the mature American chestnut trees. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. First off, we have our biggest American chestnut tree. As you can see, this tree is picking up some good height. I'd say this, I can see the growth of this tree just since it's been discovered. So without further ado, let's walk on over there. The tree doesn't look too bad from a distance. Um, I haven't looked at the bark too closely yet, so let's go right ahead and do that right now. So let's go over the base of the tree. I don't see anything that concerns me. And guys, stay tuned because I got an awesome surprise in a minute that you're really gonna wanna see. Right there, that looks new, but um, it's calloused over, so I guess not worry about that, but that is new. Uh, as you can see right there, there's a callus layer. So the blight is trying and not, not succeeding. So, so far so good. I'm gonna come around here. I don't see anything else. Let's go up the tree. Nothing bad yet. Nothing on this side, we see some do see some cracks, but they don't look too aggressive. I have I have faith this tree can grow those shut, which it's been doing. Obviously, we know this tree is on borrowed time. Because it is an American chestnut tree, and as you guys know, the blight is very, very powerful. Definitely many blight, blight wounds on it. Nothing that looks too serious yet. Nothing that I'm worried a lot about. Um, yeah, nothing looks too bad yet, so. Nothing really any worse than what we've been seeing on this tree. Overall, the tree is getting good growth. Like, if you just want a size comparison, that's, that's the tree. Someone's four-wheeler making noise. Tree's looking, the tree's looking good so far. I just want this tree to hold out. Just want this tree to hold out a few more years. That's what I'm hoping for. Here's the surprise. I don't know how this happened. I don't know how this tree pollinated. I'm not sure if the other, the little tree was, had any pollen on top. I, I really don't know how this happened, but I am so very happy it did. Like this is just really awesome. I, I would say it was probably could have, I don't know, probably could have been pollen from on the top of that little tree over there. Not sure though how it, I didn't see pollen. I thought I might have saw pollen, but then when I just kept looking, I just, I couldn't say for sure. So maybe that's what pollinated this. It's likely, but what would be bad is if the tree over the hill pollinated it. Down over the hill, there are some Chinese chestnut trees. I don't know if that could blow up here because that's around, I don't know, that's a few thousand feet away. It's possible. Don't really know. Now, the bad thing is these have worms in them. So these are immediately going to get a hot water bath. Some of these may not be able to do anything. I have heard, though, that um, you could still germinate chestnuts with wormholes. So I guess we're going to find out. Most of these, I would say, are infested with worms, if not all of them. But we are going to try it, and hopefully we get, even if we get one of these, I'm going to be happy. So immediately these are going to get taken, and they're going to be put in a hot water bath for 20 minutes at 120 degrees, and that should kill the worms. And then hope, let's hope for the best that we can get some, we can get some to pollinate. Um, there's dust in this one, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just hoping for the best that at least one of these can pollinate. Give you guys one last look before we move on to the other tree. This tree is looking... It's looking pretty good. So far, so good. Need you to last at least one more... One more winter. Or, no. Yeah. A couple... We need you to last a couple more growing seasons. But... I would love for this tree to last 10 years, 20 years, but you know, you never know. 
So it's time to move on to the little tree. All right, guys, so right here we have our smaller tree, which I think is the culprit for pollinating for pollinating our mature American chestnut tree. As you can see, it's getting some height on there. Once again, this maple is supposed to go. It was cut around, but it still lived. It still has leaves on it. So I'm gonna get this cut before spring, hopefully. And that one, get that one cut before spring, hopefully. And have that over with and then this tree will be able to shoot up through that hole so so far so good um i can't wait for this tree to have pollen and nuts on it hopefully next year um i don't see anything too concerning we see some there's some blight on the tree but overall nothing i see that's concerning this little tree is looking pretty good just as the other one's looking decent. But I would say this is definitely the tree that pollinated that one over there. So I, I guess that's what happened. I'm not hundred percent sure, but to me that's what I would I would I would, that's to me that's what I would guess, considering how close it is. It's right there between those two. And this one's right here about, I don't know, sixty feet away, something like that. So overall, this tree is looking good. Come over here. Picking up some height. Here we have our very sad, very sad tree. It really stinks that this tree had to go I would have loved to see this tree when it had like full leaves on it, but when it was discovered, it was already perishing. But uh, it's sad to see, but everything dies. Let's go over to the tree. If you're new here, if you're new here, this is the callus layer that, I believe this is a callus layer, yeah. I say this every time, it's like, I think it's a callus layer, yeah. This is the callus layer this tree formed over the years to fight the blight and yeah it lost but it put up a really big fight and it succumbed to its wounds but it had growth right there which is very positive it had growth over here to fight back against the blight it has some limbs here that have gone pretty tall <laughs> only like what two years old probably these limbs are like two years old and it's already up there that's pretty cool. That's the awesome thing right here is this fat canker right there. That is a very positive sign when it comes to genetics of an American chestnut is the fat canker. The fat canker is the tree fighting back. And that's why this tree, I guess, lasted so long is because it was forming these like fatty cankers. But it did succumb to its wounds, but definitely a very good, um, definitely very good genetics on this tree's part especially when it gets to this size. American chestnut don't get to this size. They usually are really tiny and this tree's had blight for years. This was obviously an ongoing battle for a long time. Wish I could have done updates on this when I when it was first here, but you know, I didn't know about it. Right here is where the deer's eating off all these suckers. I don't know yet how long those limbs are gonna last, but it's cool to just watch and see what they do. But this tree hasn't changed much. That canker, I mean that that um fatty canker has gotten a lot has gotten bigger since the last update. Tree trying its best to fight back against that blight. And it did pretty good. So let's move back out here. Next up going down the hill is to our smaller American chestnut trees, the two that are in close proximity to each other. I love how the, how green this tree's leaves are. Also has nice long skinny leaves. We're getting some growth. I definitely see I definitely see some growth from last year. 
come down off this big flat, big flat rock and take a closer look. Oh. Almost forgot where I was going for a second. All right, guys. So here is the stem of the tree. I don't see any blight wounds. Yeah, I don't see any blight or anything. Well, maybe I do down there. Nah. Yeah, there is some blight down there. The blight's down there where at home. Where that stick broke off. I guess there was a branch there. That's where it managed to um, start to blight. Awkward pause there for a second as a chestnut fell out of my pocket. <laughs> that scared me, but I got it. So, overall, the stem of this tree looks pretty good. Nothing concerning. Nothing really concerning. Yeah, we got a little bit of blight down there, but it seems to be forming some resistance to it. So we'll see what happens. I hate that that branch right there is over this tree, but it should go out that hole within the coming years. But overall, decent, um, decent growth. Usually at this size, they're already like blighting, but we got some genetics here that are different, very different. So it's awesome to work with these trees. All right, guys, here going up the hill a little bit, the sister tree of that other one. Getting some decent growth. Sorry, I didn't get a very good angle on it. But this one has more potential to go straight up rather than having to bend. But as you go down here, this tree is getting absolutely hammered with blight. All these cracks are blight cracks. How long this tree can resist this? I don't know. But yeah, this tree is... This tree is going to war with the blight. Who will win? I guess we'll have to find out, but... I don't like that this tree is this young and it's getting hammered this bad. This shows that this tree has worse genetics than the other ones. And blight is in the area, so it's not like the trees haven't lived with blight. The blight is here. This crack is pretty deep. Yeah, that one's pretty deep right there. That's not a good sign. Other than that, I don't see any that's too concerning. The tree is forming callus, so... That's very good, but when you got the blight climbing like this, it's not, it's not too good. I don't know. I don't know how long this tree will last, but definitely getting hammered pretty hard by blight. I can get a better angle of the tree from here, up here, right there. This tree has potential to go up that hole right there. Blight is so annoying, <laughs> but it is what it is. This one definitely has, I would say this one definitely has less resistance than the other ones. But then again, I don't know what the other ones look like when they were small. I don't know when the one up there looked like when it was small or the other one. So who knows? Maybe that's how that callus layer is all over that other one. It was fighting with that, it was fighting with that blight since birth. I don't know, but overall, the tree does not seem to be in jeopardy. All the leaves look fine, but who knows? I could change by next year and this tree could be dead. But overall, nothing too bad yet. So, looking good so far, so good. Thank you guys so much for watching my update on the mature American chestnut trees. Um, it's been a while. I would have liked to do more, more updates, but, you know, didn't get enough time, so... It is what it is, but here you guys go. Got some chestnuts in my pocket. Got to try to put those in water, hot water, and we will see if any of them germinate. Honestly, I think maybe one will, but I'm skeptical. I just think it's awesome that I found some chestnuts, but I hope we get some trees. But when the worm goes in there, eats around the nut, it's not really very easy for it to be able to, you know, stratify and germinate. So it is what it is. I guess we'll see. Have to wait and find out. So stay tuned if you want to see if these turn into trees. All right, guys, as always, don't forget to drop a like on this video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more content. And as always, keep it a let's drive. I'll see y'all later.